For the first time in several years, my entire manga collection is under one roof. So I figured that this is the perfect opportunity to do another manga reorganizing video. Now I just ended up moving a bunch of stuff from my college apartment back into my parents house. As you can see from these little b-roll videos, there was a lot of stuff to put on shelves. Also this past month, I've been going crazy on TikTok, posting videos almost every single day. So if you're not following me yet on there, definitely go down to the description below, check out that link and follow me on there. But with all that out of the way, I've already done a of talking in this video already, let's go ahead and get right into setting up my brand new manga collection. All right, so there are three main objectives I want to accomplish with this video. First and foremost, getting the two shelves I had in my apartment into this room. And to get those shelves in, we're gonna have to move this entertainment center as a bunch of stuff I'm selling as well as my box sets. The second thing I want to do is decide what I'm gonna do with my Tezuka stuff. As you can see, this shelf is just overflowing. I don't want to have it set up like this. I want to have probably two shelves set up and I think about doing something kind of unique with the way I'm going to set it up. So we'll see when we get there. And then the third thing is figure out what I'm going to do with my manga box sets. I got Dragon Ball, I got One Piece, I got Akira over there and you know, some miscellaneous box sets all around. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those just yet, but we're going to figure it out. So first order of business is to get everything off of this entertainment center and get the entertainment center out of my room. Now, like I said earlier, basically everything on this little thing right here is either box sets or stuff that I'm selling, which will be boxed up anyway. So I don't have to worry too much about relocating, you know, these volumes to my shelves, but we definitely need to get this thing out of here in order to get the two black shelves into the room. And as you can see, I didn't quite have enough room to just keep it how it was without moving this white shelf. So now we have to take everything off of the white shelf, which is, you know, double stacked, triple stacked. It's a mess. I'm going to have a lot of manga on the floor pretty soon here. All right, so here is the current state of affairs. As you can see, I have the white shelf and the two black shelves moved over. I think I got them in a pretty good space, but I am absolutely surrounded by manga. And this is like probably a fourth of my collection total. So yeah, I have a lot more work to do, but we got the entertainment center out. We got the shelves in. I'm gonna actually put the actual, uh, you know, shelves on them, and then we'll start putting stuff back on. So as you can hopefully see, the actual shelves are back on the bookcases. We have three total to fill up. And this is where I'm starting to think, you know, what do I want to do with my Tezuka manga? And I'm also thinking maybe I could put the box sets on top. I just don't want it to be too heavy because these are uh, $35 Target shelves. So I don't want them to give out on me. And just to make things simple for myself, I don't think I'm going to move anything around on these shelves. This brown one is absolutely iconic. It's like built to have manga set up like this. So I'm fine with it like that. And this one, I'm also, you know, perfectly fine with keeping it like this for now. So we're mainly going to focus on everything that is on my floor and bed. And I think I'm going to put my Tezuka stuff still on the white shelf, but I'm going to make a few adjustments like having my Roni Kenshin Visbigs on the bottom of one of these because they're super heavy and also the white spines will look a lot better against black bookcase than a white one. I think my colorful Asano manga is going to stay on the white shelf like it was just because it really pops off the white. Other than that, I do not know what I'm going to do with the rest of this manga on my floor. So I'm just going to go ahead, do a time lapse and we'll figure it out together. All right, so as you can see, we're starting out here on the white shelf and I'm putting my Osamu Tezuka stuff on the shelf first. As you can see, you know, I'm putting on two shelves rather than one how it was before. It looked really bad. And I ended up not doing the, you know, the special thing that I said I was going to maybe do with my Tezuka stuff, um, which was to put everything in order that it was released, you know, chronologically. But I decided that it wouldn't look very good, so I decided to go with a more conventional way of fitting everything on the two shelves. We also have the dedicated Inu Asano shelf, as well as some other stuff on the bottom. Alright, so we have the first white shelf completely filled. As you can see, we have kind of the same setup as last time with these, you know, my Tezuka hardcovers, all of Buddha, and then Ode Kirito at top, the heavier books on top. And the thing that's really different is the rest of my Tezuka, which remember used to all be on this one shelf, now has its own shelf. As you can see, Astro Boy all stacked up vertically and everything else can finally be displayed pretty properly. Um, I never, 
ever stack manga vertically, not for any particular reason, just I've never had a need, but I think this looks really cool and I'm super glad with how this shelf looks. Moving down, we have the Inio Asano shelf, which is again the same, just move down a shelf and then the Alita singles, Aria, and some other stuff I'm double stacking for now. It might stay, if I have room, they might move, but personally, I think this shelf is looking really, really good. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the black shelves, I think I'm gonna start off at the bottom and I'm gonna put my Veroni Kenshin Visbigs on the bottom here just because they are really heavy and I kind of want some you know, heavy foundation to keep these tall shelves tethered to the ground. And again, these white spines, I think just look absolutely amazing on these black shelves, much better than the white ones they were previously on. I'm gonna find something to put here and I think I'm gonna put my Matsumoto stuff on the shelf as well. Then we have Gantz and Berserk to put on this shelf, and that should be just about all the space we have. So first we'll do a little bit of dusting, and then like I said, put the Matsumoto shelf on, how basically how it was before, and then of course series like Berserk and Gantz that are some of my favorites in my entire collection. Now, as you can see, I also ended up shelving all of my Vampire Hunter D light novel singles. I absolutely love this set. I also have, you know, some other light novels up there. So this is kind of like the light novel shelf. But what remains to be decided is what I'm going to do with this bin absolutely full of light novels. You can see we got Classroom of the Elite, we got 86, we got Spice and Wolf. I don't know if I want to display these over my manga, so I might keep these stored for now, but if I have extra room, I may be able to put some of them on the shelf. But this first shelf is looking really, really good. Got some of my favorite series on it, Berserk and Gantz. I absolutely love how it's looking. So now we're going to move on and fill up this empty shelf. Now I know you guys probably can't see my face right now, but as you can see, the first thing I put on the shelf was my Akira box set, just because First and foremost, this shelf is like a little bit flimsier, like it won't stay up against the wall. So I wanted something really heavy to make sure this thing is not falling over. And I decided that this might actually be a great place for some of my smaller box sets. So here we have things like Silent Voice, uh, Peach Girl box set 2, and the Gone Italian box set. So I'm going to kind of fit some on these, maybe put some extra stuff on top. And I think this will be a great way to fit a lot of manga on this bottom shelf. And as you can see, that plan ended up actually working really well. We have the Akira box set. We have Akira Bards and Noble Gone, Sound of Voice, Peach Girl, and then all of the One Piece volumes that I you know don't have a box set for. I think this is really good because I don't have to worry about overpacking a shelf and dealing with bending or collapsing of a shelf because I can put all the way I want on this and nothing will happen to it. So I think that this is gonna be perfect for my collection. And looking around at everything I still have to put on shelves, Honestly, we're in pretty good shape. I have some light novels. Most of this is stuff that I'm trying to sell so I won't have to shelve it at all. And then I mean, we just have some loose manga sets that really don't take up that much space. Again, more light novels. We have Vinland Saga, which is definitely going on the shelf. And I may have enough space to actually shelve some video games and Blu-rays. That would be awesome. So let's go ahead and start putting stuff on the second black shelf. As you can see, the first thing that I wanted to make sure was on this was Vinland Saga. I love how the colored spines, you know, pop right off the black shelf. I'm also having a full shelf dedicated to my Katsura manga, which is series like Video Girl Eye, uh, Shadow Lady, and Eyes. I think it's really cool when you can showcase an entire manga guys collection on a single shelf. And then below that, I also have, you know, my Sergeant Frog singles, which again, the colors look really good, popping out against this black shelf. Really love how this looks. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The manga collection is officially reorganized. Now, a couple things, as you can see up there, I have a few box sets that I think I could fit. I don't want to put too much weight on the top because I don't think they're meant to uh, hold that much weight. I do have, you know, Dragon Ball over there, and then the One Piece box sets that I couldn't fit over there. But yeah, this is looking absolutely amazing. And again, still subject to change as I tweak things, you know, I maybe move some stuff around. Now assessing the damage of what is still left, really only, you know, light novels and stuff I'm selling over here. So not too concerned, just on the floor, more light novel stuff I'm reading, the stuff the Empress sent me. Unfortunately, I couldn't put any of my Blu-rays or video games on the shelves, which is unfortunate. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just got to take it all in. This shelf, this manga wall is looking amazing. 
So that's gonna about do it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me with my manga reorganizing journey that I took today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'm not sure if this video is gonna go live before my 2023 manga collection. You'll know by the time this video comes out if you know that video is already out or not. So either go check out my full manga collection video right now or look forward to that video coming next week. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been the Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and as always, hope to get you in the next one.